here we go here's an update on the truck um like i said it before guys i'm trying to make this a two thousand dollar build by that i mean exterior wise obviously and i'm not including the price of the truck i bought this used bed at uh budget wrench apart in belton texas it's about 40 minutes from where i am i'm in austin texas and it actually ended up having a little more damage than i was hoping it did this side um here it had some holes so i went ahead and fixed them i welded them in started sanding down the inside so i can do the bed liner whenever i'm ready but i filled in the holes this side was fairly clean and this is actually the side i got to see the most when the truck was in the salvage yard so i'm still happy with it you know i guess i really really possibly could have just saved me the 230 dollars i spent on it and just fix the bed i have now but here it is so i'm going to paint this in two different parts so I, explaining again my two thousand dollar budget build pretty much i already bought the truck i already had the truck so i'm not trying to include that price in it i'm just trying to make it look nice exterior from the exterior so i'm going to paint it i bought the paint with the two thousand dollars i bought the bed i bought the tailgate with the two thousand dollars that's the old tailgate i bought it because i actually like this chevy like stainless steel or aluminum badge in the back had a little bit of dings i'm trying to make the truck look nice so here's the color that i'm rocking with it's called key west outrageous the used doors uh this is fairly clean too has a little bit of dings here and here and there but it's it's all pretty clean i got a brand new grill off ebay i got this bottom lip off uh the salvage yard i think it was like 25 bucks maybe 20 bucks so that goes there another used door it's already painted from the inside the two used fenders i'm i'm, I'm gonna try to paint them tonight uh, today is june 20th 2020 this is the truck once again that's me i need a haircut i started sanding down the inside already guys this truck was the, one of the main reasons i wanted to switch out the parts is because whoever painted it before me um did some really lacked some prep work they didn't sand it down so they made my job harder and the majority of this had to be sanded down to where it doesn't peel off by itself and my fingers dirty i got a lot of paint on it as you could just see so it is a lot more sanding than i should have this is going to be the only part of the vehicle that stays the same which is the cab i'm going to change out hopefully the windows and the window seals a uh, new windshield in the front because of this gasket it's all fucked up but i got new mirrors so that's the used bed and that's going to be the first part the first major part that i paint in this vehicle this truck so like i said two thousand dollars by two thousand dollars i do not include the truck once again i'm only excluding i'm only including the exterior part i'm just gonna make it look nice on the outside that's it two thousand dollars is the budget right now um i think i did the math the other day i don't remember off the top of my head i, I think i was maybe at fifteen hundred dollars sixteen hundred dollars something like that so what i'm trying to do is uh guys I, uh, well i don't mean just guys right but guys and girls i work at a body shop i own one uh, very small um and i'm actually just paying my my guys you know to work on it too like i'm keeping that in my budget i'm giving them a little extra than their hourly wage to work on this after hours if they want to because they don't have to so i've mainly been doing this by myself i have my cousin uh my brother my brother's a body man he knocked out this for me this and and some other stuff that i started working on that i didn't finish correctly so he went ahead and fixed them uh me and my cousin did the insides we just grabbed some 80 grit sandpaper I think this is 180 yeah 180 but we grabbed some 80 grit sandpaper and just started roughing up all the edges and making sure you know hopefully like like this stuff that i got to clean up still so the bed liner can stick the bed was actually in pretty good condition from the inside if, if you guys can tell i actually started sanding this down 
but the bed was actually that shiny so my brother wanted me to paint it and the thing was being in my budget I didn't feel like buying the extra paint and taking the extra time to actually paint it which is it's, it's a hassle it really is so hopefully I upload a video tonight painting this at least and possibly the tailgate and um, in case you were wondering about the music it was out of my control so that's y'all go ahead and look up Benny Bando on YouTube Benny Bando B-E-N-N-Y space B-A-N-D-O Bando this song is called uh, what is this song called I can't remember off the top of my head but y'all check out Benny Bando and you can type in jungle type in ghetto problems um, you can type in rampage you can type in lonesome they're all great songs local artists here from Austin Texas I said every day's a constant game of survival I've been trying to break away from this cycle so I pray for my life it was out of my control and uh I'm gonna show y'all something. I'm gonna go get something real quick. Every many nights I pray for my life. It was out of my control. I'm gonna let y'all watch my beer, man. Y'all make sure nobody comes and grabs me. Just take like 30 seconds, maybe. So this is actually the song I was just talking about. Mini Bando Ghetto Problems. In this ghetto life, reoccurring ghetto problems, baby. I just updated my chain or upgraded. Big shout out to uh, Ricky from Treasures for my custom piece. I got it super scratched up. My grandma's house in the heart of the jungle. I got it super scratched up, guys, and that's me. You know, I put it down on my desk. But these dudes do some badass work, bro. Badass work. And I'm grateful for it. So, man, y'all holla at him. I'm getting super off topic, you know, but y'all make sure y'all check out Ricky's at Treasures, Capital Plaza. And for those of y'all who don't know, I get a lot of people asking me, is this a shotgun? Is it a tattoo gun? It's a paint gun. I'm a painter. I take a lot of pride in my work. And, uh, yeah. But, man, y'all go ahead and... Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share my videos if you're trying to watch how this thing's supposed to come out at the end. Like I said, I'm on a budget. Um, for for the most part, my labor is free. You know, my labor is completely free. I'm doing this by myself. I'm paying very little off of labor. So that's, that's one way I'm saving actually a lot of money, which might not be fair. But uh, some people, you know, aren't, aren't scared and they're willing to do it by themselves. Y'all give it a shot, man. I, I encourage everyone to take a gamble every now and then. Uh, you never know what you can do until you try. You know, being completely honest. Baby, all the time. Uh -uh. And, in, and in case y'all were wondering about my charger, it is right there. I haven't even finished it. I haven't even touched it. <laughs> I started focusing on this. Yeah, all the time. Uh -uh. Man, y'all go ahead and check out Benny Bando. Benny Bando on YouTube. That one was called Ghetto Problems. I'm out of here.